been a minute since I've been on Facebook Live, so how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. I think I got something in my nose, excuse me. Anyways, uh, as you might have read, the truth about unhappiness. Uh, and normally I come off with a little more positive vibe and I try to be, I don't try, I want to be positive and uplifting and raise the level. Uh, however, I've, I've had some conversations today, um, and, and I've alluded to some of this stuff before, but I've had some conversations today, um, specifically with someone who just is, is operating off a totally different premise than I. Um, anyways, the truth about unhappiness is two things. It's looking over on the other side of the fence, comparing yourself to others a lot or all the time. That's one. And two is uh, focusing on what you don't have. That's it. Focusing on what you don't have and comparing yourself to others. Now, that's hard to do because how else are we to benchmark how we're doing if we're not looking at others, right? If I'm an athlete, how am I to benchmark my speed if not by looking at Usain Bolt's time? Like how I compare myself to the fastest ri racer in the world. Anyways, um, so, so I understand the benchmarking. However, um, I do think it can go overboard and I think uh, politically um, in this country, racially, possibly, from a money standpoint, uh, or even a personal standpoint, maybe you're in the same neighborhood and your neighbor got a new car or your neighbor's putting in new flooring, I don't know. But I know the truth about unhappiness and that is comparing, 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 and focusing, focusing, focusing on what you don't have. So it's of my opinion that we all have something to offer Battery's going low. Sorry about that. We all have something to offer. And what we have, those talents, those skills, um, those are our assets. Those are our things that we can bring to the world and help the world become a better place, a more valuable place, uh, a more usable place. I don't know, but they're, they're things of value that we have, uh, whether they're inherent or worked for. Those are our personal, I like to call them privileges. I think we're all born with privilege. Just might have to look harder for some than others. Um, and that's the deal. I think if we can focus on what we have, what we have to offer and work to get that out into the world and get that out of you, really, then I think you're on your way to becoming happier, <laughs> or maybe even, dare I say, happy. Um, it's, it's much like, I read something the other day, it said something about, I don't know, it was pretty cliche, but it said something about, um, I don't know, if, I don't think it was happiness, I think maybe it was, was, was love or being a choice. And, you know, it's, it's something that you do every day um, when you're in a relation, relationship with someone. I think it might be the case with happiness where, um, yeah, there is a state of happy, but I think there's also a way of happy. Uh, and, and it's a practice. Thank you. <laughs> it's a practice. Uh, and I'm not sure that we practice that all the time. And... Uh, I'd like to help people practice that, that's for sure. And um, anyways, that's my so-called quasi rant for the day. Sorry I'm not as uh, eloquent as I'd like to be right now, but I'm just driving home on this very glorious, beautiful day. Just pulled in my parking lot and you can see how nice it is outside. Uh, you know where to get a hold of me at Real Dr. J Rich on Instagram or Twitter, and then of course drjasonrichardson.com. That's drjasonrichardson.com. I'd love to work with you and help you on your goals, your happiness, get your team, your organization, your camp, 
in gear help them level up and get the results they want and that begins with that building that premise that belief and um, operating from not a faulty premise but a um, a solid premise there we go that's it so focus on offering what you have to the world I promise you life and the world will be better for it peace